if uh, the current violence is not enough to have martial law, it uh, sounds like something which is going to produce even more violence. This is not the way to go. This is uh, a very bad start uh, by uh, President Poroshenko. That is not what uh, was expected for him, of him. He had a great opportunity to start from scratch, to offer, uh, uh, offer some gesture, uh, uh, negotiations, talks uh, with the uh, the people in eastern Ukraine. Instead, uh, he opted for this uh, uh, military campaign. Uh, I don't know what the expectation is to crush any kind of uh, dissent. Uh, this is uh, the worst possible scenario. In fact, you know, some some colleagues suggest that uh, uh, they, uh, they it's their feeling that he is not in control of the situation. He is not in control of his own forces. Incidentally, uh, and, and I'm not saying that they are driving the uh, the military campaign, but there are repeated reports uh, of. Uh, the presence uh, of uh, foreign mercenaries uh, speaking uh, speaking English, etc., etc. So it's uh, uh, it is a very complex situation. It's uh, hard to uh, understand who is in control. If it's President Poroshenko who is in control, then he's doing the wrong thing. Uh, I, I'm thinking be? about it. So so far there has been no initiative. Of course, we are tracking the situation very closely. If there is a need for a meeting, we can do a meeting uh, uh, immediately. Uh, about, about the situation in Palestine, of course, the Israelis are capturing and arresting so many hundreds of people in well, fact, reserves, and they are threatening with more. Uh, well, uh, we, are, we are going to discuss that on the 24th. The situation, of course, is very disturbing, and I am expecting the traditional uh, question, uh, even though I cannot answer it in my presidential capacity, about the uh, humanitarian resolution on, on Syria. Uh, I think we are there. I think we are there. We, pro we produced in terms of a text, uh, we produced a formula today, which I hope is going to be accepted by our Western colleagues. Uh, it is uh, a far-reaching formula which will allow to open those four crossing points uh, in which uh, the uh, uh, humanitarian agencies were interested. So I, I would very much like to see that resolution to be adopted within, within days. I'm sorry? Is there any date that you think it will be adopted? Well, uh, if they say yes, uh, tomorrow we'll put it in blue. Uh, and uh, I mean, I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not the sponsor of this resolution, though, even though we worked very hard to produce this formula, which uh, uh, is now fleshed out uh, in uh, the product, which, is believe, uh, which I believe is the final product and uh, which they need to, expect, uh, to accept, then uh, I suppose they can put it in blue tomorrow and then we'll vote the day after tomorrow. Can you elaborate for us any further on this formula and has, have you obtained I, a I'd Syrian rather, government I'd, consent? I'd rather, I'd rather wait uh, till uh, the final confirmation. I mean, this way or the other, I'm going to describe it to you, even though they do not, uh, uh, if, even if they do not accept it, I'm going to describe it to you. But I think after all the work we have done on this formula, uh, I would be very much surprised that if they don't, uh, don't take it up because it's, uh, it's an elegant solution to this problem government has agreed to yes, use this formula yes, to yes, open these four yes. crossing points? I'm sorry? To open these yes, four crossing they have. points? Yes, they have under this formula. They have accepted that. It's a pretty innovative approach to doing things. Uh, so we hope it's going to work and we hope it's going to help the humanitarian agencies to work on the ground in Syria, including in areas which are not controlled by the government. Thank you very much.